Ah, so that's very clever. So it automatically turned off by itself as it was not on my neck. So that sensor, if you were to place it there, that's how the fan actually resumes. So that sensor is for auto detection on your neck. That's really clever indeed. Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now, I present to you our host, LJP Tech. So what we have here is a rather interesting product called Metora Pro. Now, I actually participate on the crowdfunding uh, campaign at Kickstarter, and this was rather expensive, actually. So unlike the previous product called Kula, which actually focused on certain points, I believe this actually blows uh, cold air and I actually do like the uh, blue light in the back and so on. Um, one of the most important thing, the reason I end up pledging on this whole Kickstarter campaign is that it was quite expensive so I thought it must be really good. So anyhow, so it's an expensive portable personal air conditioning product so let's get into the unboxing. Here it goes. Okay, so let's cut out a few bits here and Bob so we could tear it out. So we got to tear this one out and then moment of truth. Nice, look at that. Whether in freezing winter or in sultry summer, I'll always be on your side. And I'm not sure what's happening here. There's a bit of a cutout. This is what you carry around with you. And it feels like those um, environmentally friendly, which Nike likes to use. So if we were to open this one up, Look at that. And then we got the QR code here. And if we were to open it up, we got the uh, USB-C, very thick, good cable, and another QR code. So it's pretty straightforward. Kind of reminds me of Sony XM5 um, case. So here's my Sony XM5 um, headphone case, as we all know and it actually flips up like this and you've got all the rest of the details. Just as the same way, we got a similar, but this is not a musical headphone, but it has this similar sort of character. So if you were to take this one out from the case, um, a good weight, uh, comparing to Kula, it's much heavier. Now I can see air grills on here. Perhaps these are air grills as well. So a transparent kind of protecting, um, with a Matura text on it on one end to the other. So if we were to pull this one out, ah, oh, that's basically a sensor, I believe. Perhaps it is. And for the other side, we got the charging um, as well. So if we were to zoom that in, that's what it is. So initially I thought this was the main power button, but in fact, it's actually a feature. The main power button is in here. So if you were to press this, you will see that it says 21 degrees and on the rest of the journey, you'll be able to see that it's the battery life is 91%. So you know exactly what the battery life is. Now this is an adjustment, I believe, to um, make it stronger. So you can hear the fan sound getting louder, while as if you actually reduce it, it goes down. So I tried both of these QR code, which will actually lead me to the same page. So it would ask you a question saying, where did you purchase from us? So if I were to click on Kickstarter, it will just lead you to a WhatsApp um, chat room. So I'm not sure what's happening here. So one could only conclude that possibly they're still in a process of developing the app that is not ready yet, but I'm sure it should be coming along. Um, but other than that, enough said, let's actually try out on the default setting. So here it goes. So moment of truth. So let's try it out. Make sure the air grill on the top. Okay, so here it goes. All right, it's fans on. Okay, so immediately what I can feel is the fan actually blows on both ends and I think slightly on the back end as well. Um, I believe there are three main surfaces also uh, cools down as time goes by and um, I can kind of feel that 
it's starting to cool down a bit. So yeah, I mean, that, that works. It's a bit of a weight. Nice fit actually. So on, on the middle of you're trying to pull it in, it's slightly narrower and it gets wider as you pull it in. And um, I really wish it was cooler than this and I'm sure there's a way, but at the moment, um, I can't download the app for some reason. So if any of you out there who watches this video, who happen to have this product or know the link of the app, if you can let me know, that'd be great. All right, so if you actually press the power button for three seconds, the white um, LED light changes to blue, which is the air conditioning mode. So yeah, that's much better. That's way much better. And also the, I think for the three patch on the back, you have to wait a bit because that needs to cool down through the fan. That's how it works. So that's pretty cool. And I presume the same mythology applies. So if you want to change from aircon to um, warm heat and warming up, you press it and it will change to red. And then if I were to not really like to try this sort of heat wave weather, but yeah, so the actual heat um, is generated through the back of those three pads. So there's no um, actual um, air blown, uh, but the three patch is really warming up. So that's the way how it works. So actually you don't really need an app to be able to operate it as long as you know the three second rules on pressing on the main power button. So that's brilliant. So it's a shame that I can't really actually download the app. Somehow it must be available. Maybe they haven't actually developed the app yet, but if you guys know uh, where the path is, please let me know. But I presume app is mainly for adjustment, for fine tuning with the fan and temperatures and so on. While as this actually is enough without the app, if you see what I mean. Uh, so the cold air, the um, air conditioning function, the way how I could explain it works is that comparing to the um, fan mode, the air conditioning mode, the way how the air blows, it feels colder. The fan mode, it actually does feel like it's literally blowing the same temperature of air while as the air conditioning one, you actually get a much cooler feel to it. So uh, that's how it works. And definitely the heating mode, those three pads on the back uh, is definitely warm. So I wouldn't recommend to use that, especially on a weather like this where we have constant heat waves and so on. Now, regards to one minor things I do want to highlight is that if you have a slightly longer hair on the back than I do, you would actually notice your hair being stuck. I actually experienced that a few times early on, but other than that, um, it does what it says on the tin and it's a fantastic product indeed. So I hope this video, this first impression video, uh, gave you an answer whether this works or not. I guess um, if you want a follow-up regards to when I actually walk around in the heat waves, which I think it's going to be next Tuesday, which is going to be about 38 degrees, um, I could actually let you guys know on my comment below whether it works or not working in, walking in the uh, heat wave environment. But other than that, all good so far. So thank you very much for watching this video. Any queries, to, please do comment below. And this is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.